GreatTasteMB.ca is your online source for over 300 tried and true recipes, full episodes on demand, and exclusive behind the scenes content, including features on Manitoba's farm families. Subscribe today. Cracked pepper garlic oven roast recipe number three tonight, Manitoba beef producers. And uh, we welcome back Elizabeth, Har Elizabeth Harms. Um, so this is sort of like a a cousin to the round. Yes. It's not actually the round. What are we What are we making tonight? We're working with the sirloin tip roast today. Um, it is a little more tender than the inside and outside rounds. Quite a bit bigger too. Yeah, it's it's a nice size <laughs> piece of meat that we're dealing with today. Um, I know it doesn't have round in the name. They call it an alternative cut. I don't like to use that word word because it makes people think, oh, it's not as good as something else because it oh. uses the word alternative. Okay, right? interesting. So we're not going to throw that around too much. No judgment here tonight. No, yeah, no judgment here. So uh, we're going to make this rub and get it in the oven. Sounds good. And it is kind of round, so we'll just yeah. we'll just go with that. There okay, go. okay. so um, you're going to make uh, make the rub at this yes. point? Yes, yes. Okay. all right. So I've got some cracked peppercorns and some salt in here, and I'm just going to put it in there. Okay. That um, is a lovely mortar and pestle, oh, by the way. Very much. It's a beauty. I'm going to add some garlic. Okay. It was just the, uh, is it 6,500 farmers? Owned and operated farms here in Manitoba, yep. Just in Manitoba. Yep. Amazing. Okay. Everything uh, about the show, we love talking about all the local stuff, all yep. the local produce and uh, products. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of canola oil just to get it a little pasty. Okay. And I'm going to give it a quick mix. Get everything nice and wet. I'm going to squirt a little more oil in here for me. I would be delighted. Thank you very much. How much is a little That's bit? That's good. Okay. All right, so as you can see, it's nicely mixed together. Although that peppercorn looks really good. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Step number three. Two or two. three? No, I guess two. Uh, time to get your hands dirty. Okay. So scoop that all on. Oh, right, man. And we're going to give this a rub all over. So just, yeah, okay. Kind of pick up some of those bits yeah, that fall on the plates. And whatever gets stuck to your hands. Yeah. Put okay. That on there. And so now, as far as cooking method goes, like is this yeah. something that we brown ahead of time or no? No. This is all you're going to do in preparation for this going in the oven. Give it a nice little rub and put it straight in your pan. So when you cook this, you're going to put it in at a 425 Fahrenheit oven. Okay. So that's fairly hot. Pretty hot. That's yeah. fairly hot. Okay. Um, you're going to leave it there for 10 minutes. Okay. And that kind of does that searing process for you. So you don't need to worry about doing it on the doing stove, getting the stove. Too smoky or anything. Okay. The oven does it for you. After 10 minutes, you're going to turn it down really, really low to 275. Whoa, okay. And then you cook it for about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. And then you want to start checking the temperature. That'll okay. That'll be your best way to tell if it's done or not. Sounds like a plan. And we're going to do something on the stove top here in just a sec. But I'll put this in the oven if you sure. want to go and wash your hands here. Perfect. Okay. Just that is a heavy pan. Yes. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. All right. If you want to get this pan going. Uh, okay, I could definitely do that. And so this is our gravy that we're going yeah. to be making here tonight. And the gravy always, always well. You know what? It used to make me a little bit nervous. I've gotten quite a bit more confident in my gravy making abilities since I started doing the show. Um, but yeah, you know, one of the things with me and gravy is just that um, I'm sort of impatient. And so with the cornstarch, it's like I'm adding, 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 adding. Why isn't it getting thicker? And then all of a sudden it's like, it's like this gelatinous, not gravy, like sort of globby thing happening. So, but of course it's all about patience sometimes with the, with the uh, making the gravy. So I've got the broth in there. Okay, perfect. Do you want me to put that in the cornstarch in right away here? Sure. If you want to get, here, I'll give this a quick mix. Okay. Get that. Yeah, why don't you put that in and then I'll just kind of, I'm kind of trying to get some of these bits um, from the bottom of the pan here because of course that's what makes the gravy so spectacular. How are, your gra uh, how, how are you gravy confident? Um, I am not, so I look to my mom and my aunts to make gravy. Okay. Um, of course, it doesn't always go according to plan. So one boxing day, we have a large extended family gathering, mm -hmm. um, and gravy was happening in the kitchen, turkey dinner, all the good stuff. Right, right. Um, now, some people make it with milk. It adds a, it, I don't prefer it this way, but it adds a little bit of a different flavor to it. It can and be done. 
it's a little, it's just a little different. Yep. Um, I'm gonna put that rosemary in there. Sure. Um, and for some reason, the smoke detector went off, which required the fire department. Are you serious? Yes. The fire department made a visit to my aunt and uncle's house in Headingley that Boston wow. Day. Well, shout out to the Headingley Fire Department. Yeah. They are awesome. <laughs> um, but holy smokes. Okay, yeah. well, nope, can't top that. Yeah. All right, so we got that to a boil now, and I'm just going to add some salt and pepper just to enhance that flavoring a little bit. Okay. Ooh, yeah, and it's, it. yeah, you know what? Yeah, that didn't take long at all. And so you can kind of see exactly where this is going, right? And so then the idea being that once your roast is done, you've got this lovely gravy yeah. to go on top, and then voila, what you have, and I'm just gonna leave that there. For sure. Uh, and come over here. This is this is what we end up with, uh, this, this beautiful, it's got the beautiful pink inside. What do we want to cook this to, roughly? I would say 135, 140. Okay. You also want to want to let that rest sure. about 10, 15 minutes before you carve it. Let all of those juices kind of yeah. soak in. And then you've got the lovely gravy yes. to go on top. All right, so we're going to have some fun with Erin All Blast Manitoba Liquor Marts when we come back on Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by greattastesambi.ca. Local farms, local foods.